hello everyone let's get the square root of what we have here very quickly we have to find the square root of 14 minus 4 root root 6 now this is not that difficult but here is what we will do let's say the square root of the whole of this is square root of a minus square root of b so that's from here once we have the values of a and b then we know the square root of this already and then from here the next step will be for me to square both sides right remember it was square root so we can square this and then when we do that this will also be squared we have square root of a minus square root of b and this is squared now this and this will be gone so that's 14 minus 4 root 6 will be equal to what we have here which is um square root of a minus square root of b in two places square root of a minus square root of b close this now we have 14 minus 4 root 6 which is equal to this times this will give us a then this times this will give us minus this times this will give us minus root a b then this multiplied by this another minus root a b and then this times this will give us plus b so that's from here what can we do we have 14 minus 4 root 6 to be equal to a minus 2 root a b plus b okay so now we have 14 minus 4 root 6 to be equal to put these two together so we have a plus b then minus 2 root a b now from here we can begin to make our comparison right because the whole of this should be for this and this a and b should be for this right so we can conclude that a plus b is definitely equal to 14 and this becomes our first equation then to get the second equation we will compare this and this okay so i will say that minus 2 root a b from here is equal to minus 4 root 6 and then from here the negative and this will be gone we can divide this by um, by 2 and divide this by 2 this and this gone square root of a b is equal to this will go there two times and we have 2 root 6 we can still go ahead right so that we square this and then square what we have over here this and this will be gone so our a b will be 2 squared will give 4 then multiply by this and this will be gone so we now have 6 over there meaning that a b is equal to 24 and this becomes our equation 2 now bring equation 1 and 2 together so that we can have a um, simultaneous equation equation 1 is a plus b equal to 14 equation 1 and a b is equal to 24 and this is our equation 2 now what do we do from here we can get the value or we can make a the subject from equation 1 so a will be equal to 14 minus b and we shall call this our equation 3 because we are going to need this okay so put this value of um, a into equation 2 so we have b into a is now 14 minus b equal to 24 14b minus b squared equals equals to 24 
Now, let us continue from here. We can rearrange this and get minus b squared plus 14b equal to 24. Bring everything to the same side. We have minus b squared plus 14b minus 24 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, but we don't want this negative b squared. So, multiply this by a negative 1. So, we have b squared. This will turn to minus 14b, and this turns to plus 24 equal to 0. Now, what do we do from here? We are looking for two numbers that will multiply to get 24, and we add them to get minus 14. The two numbers will be minus 12 and minus 2. Okay? Minus 12 and minus 2, because minus 12 times minus 2 is minus 20, plus 24. And minus 12 minus 2 is minus 14. That means that the first factor is b minus 12, and the second factor is b minus 2, and these are equal to 0. From here, we apply zero product rule to say b minus 12 is equal to 0, or b minus 2 is equal to 0. From here, b is equal to 12, or from here, b is equal to 2. But then, we are not looking for only the value of a, I mean only the value of b. So we need to get the value of a as well. And that will take us back to our equation 3, which is a, where is it again? Which is a equal to 14 minus b. Let's go on. Okay, so this is the value of our equation um, 3. This is what we have as equation 3. So our a now will be 14 minus 12, because the first value of b is 12 meaning that our a is equal to 2. Now, what does it mean? This means that when, when b is equal to 12, a is equal to 2. Now, let's go back and put another value of b, which is um, 2. So, we have a is equal to 14 minus 2. And then our a is equal to 12. Now, this also means that when, when um, b is equal to 2, a is equal to 12. Okay, so this is what we have. And um, let's get back to the problem. We have the problem as square root of 14 minus 4 root 6 to be equal to, and I say let this be equal to square root of a minus square root of b, right? So, let's work with these second values. When b is 2, a is 12, right? That means one of the roots will be square root of a, which is 12, minus square root of um, b, which is root 2. So, this will be the possible square root for this or the next will be square root of a at this for this value will now be square root of 2 right then minus here b is 12 so we have square root of um 12 so these are the two possible values of the square root of 14 minus 4 root 6 thank you for watching and then um, share this to more of your friends.